In this one, we are going to render 1 million rats as a crowd in Houdini 20.5. Karma has a new future. Crowd procedure. We're gonna see it. Hi everyone, this is Daizen. Welcome to my channel. Okay, let's begin. You see, I saw this one on X, aka Twitter, and uh, this is created in Blender using Geometry Node. Interesting. It's getting powerful, Geometry Node, honestly. So, we're gonna mimic this look on uh, this tutorial. So, for that, I have these rats, as you can see. You see that? This is our rats from uh, Sketchfab. This is animated one, but this one is in place animation, of course. Now let's create agent from FPX file and let's call it rat, for example. So we have this amazing setup by the preset, shelf preset. And as you can see, we have this animation, but it's have a problem. You see, when I convert that uh, for in place animation for locomotion, you see, the rat it's not traveling in the space because the, the animation itself it's not a uh, locomotion uh, not capable of locomotion you can say you see we have locomotion problem so how we can fix that it's simple honestly i want to have uh, these rats in fbx character import and i want to have a deform node let's connect that and let me show you this is our animation you see we're gonna uh, uh, we're gonna translate that through the space by hand uh, let me show you what i mean by that so uh, as you can see we have this rat and we're gonna use rig pause this uh, node will uh, manipulate this bone uh, animation you can multiply or add or set this uh, trans uh, translation you can say you see I'm here uh, animating that quickly, so I'm not wasting your time. You see, I'm animated uh, these uh, rats through the uh, X uh, direction, you see that? So we have some amazing animation. Now we're gonna uh, convert that to the agent using agent from rig. As you can see, you can uh, specify the name. We're gonna call it rat and uh, in here, we need agent layer to uh, convert to uh, sorry to connect the mesh to this agent as you can see so we have our agent but without animation so how we can uh, import this uh, skeleton animation to our uh, crowd using of course agent clip so the second input will take motion clip so we're going to convert or uh, uh, connect a motion clip to this rig pose you see we have the motion clip and we're going to connect that and we're going to of course uh, change the input for a motion clip and we're going to call it run for example and we're going to set the current clip i want to see it you see we don't have any animation we're going to enable clip time and voila you see we have something uh, traveling through the space we have this uh, bug in viewport but yeah we're gonna ignore it and as you can see now uh, let me show you uh, let me see uh, the bone the, the the root bone yeah it's called bone 0 12 i guess yeah let me select that this will be the origin or uh, the main bone for locomotion you see now i apply the locomotion and this is amazing that's what i needed so amazing right if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content yeah let's proceed now we have our agent our rats okay now let's create crowd uh, it will be easy of course and we have this crowd from the agent yes yeah, simple uh, we can randomize the clip uh, or animation offset you see for a better result yeah that's cool right and now as you can see we have these rats and i want to simulate that using this shelf and let's click on it and i want just run clip in here 
So we have this crowd a uh, dubnet, you see? But we have a problem, you see? The mouse uh, acting so weird. So because we need to uh, enable locomotion in the run clip or run state, you see? Amazing. And this movement caused by avoidness in crowd solver. Now we need a geometry or target geometry. So I quickly uh, create this font uh, node uh, for the text and I manipulate that. I extruded that. You can uh, see it guys. And yeah, I created null for target, for example. Let's yeah, make it target. And how we can uh, guide these wraps to this font or this uh, object. The first approach, of course, pop traction you see pop tract you can say and in here of course you can uh, select your geometry and you can have average point to that you see every rat will uh, it will cluster this uh, geometry but you see you don't have um, good result because pop tract will will manipulate the force rather than uh, velocity or heading so it's not working I also try another approach with ID approach. Let me show you how I uh, did that. I create an attribute, an integer attribute, of course, and uh, it's for point class, and I uh, assign that to the at sign PT num. I assign every point number to this ID. You see, let me show you on a spreadsheet. You see, we have the point ID as a uh, point number as ID, sorry. So I uh, duplicate that. I need the same thing for uh, the target geometry. Let me show you. Let me make it N for this sake of this demonstration. And as you can see, I uh, have this ID attribute uh, to this target. But first, I want to scatter point to it. I need the same amount the point uh, for this uh, geometry to the agent you see let me show you so we have this point and I want to uh, link this uh, crowd amount to this scatter point you see so we have for example uh, 50 agent and 50 point you see I want to link every point to every agent you see one agent and one point using using this uh, pop track uh, point uh, per particle you see i thought this will be uh, working but you see it's not going to work so as you can see this is so uh, challenging to do honestly we need more research we're gonna talk about that on my patreon as you can see on my patreon we managed to do that you see every rats uh, will go to uh, their point and yeah it's work honestly if you're interesting uh, my patreon is available uh, on the description and big shout out for these amazing people on my patreon thank you guys have fun with our content yeah let's proceed so finally this is the final scene as you can see it's available on my patreon the scene file and as you can see we managed to do that so luckily we have our rats and every rats will go to their point this is amazing and as you can see we have 1000 uh, agent in here and as you can see it's yeah it's working and i cache that so now let's go with the lab network karma and solaris and as you can see in houdini procedural new uh, crowd node we have this crowd lab is can convent tool that lets you optimize a crowd simulation directly at the render time this is amazing the procedure try to find the background agent with very similar poses you see and turn turn that uh, turn them into instance of the same deformed geometry so this is basically uh, amazing technique for optimizing the render time and uh, optimizing the resource you see your resource so let let's try it now uh, for importing the crowd we're going to use sub crowd import this is optimized sub import for the crowd believe me this uh, um, this uh, node it's amazing for the crowd and as you can see we have our crowd and this is our rats you see 
and now of course we need let me show you you see that uh, let's create a camera for example yeah let me create one in here and as you can see uh, or know uh, crowd procedural use the camera for uh, optimization that's why i i will use this camera so but yeah let me uh, create a crowd procedural uh, node in here and as you can see nothing happened you see not a visualization nothing and now let's create a camera still nothing happened you see you don't see any optimization obvious optimization here even with the uh, visualization and we have this lab threshold we're gonna see it later on and if we connect houdini preview procedural this is amazing uh, node we don't have anything you see we have an error but you see soon as i create karma render, render setting the error is gone and houdini preview procedural will work amazing and now this visualization will work you see this is the setup uh, side effects uh, recommended you see you need to connect your houdini procedural after the uh, karma render setting wow this is odd but yeah this is how it will work and you see we have the instance and prototype and default uh, geometry you see you can uh, manipulate that by this lab threshold and it will optimize uh, the render setting or oh, sorry the render time or uh, in general the resource you see that and based on uh, the camera you it will optimize that so it's need the pixel resolution size and the camera from render uh, karma render setting so this is crucial for this uh, procedural node but yeah with that i render these rats as you can see and honestly that was amazing without overflow or anything you see amazing thank you side for this amazing note so with that have fun guys goodbye <laughs>